Hey, hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. This is going to be a haul video. This is going to have a mix of a little bit of everything in it. Um, I wanted to say, um, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, end of summer as we uh, get into fall here. I um, hope you guys had just an absolutely awesome season. I know I did. Um, I've definitely been going full on at it. Uh, absolute pedal to the floor, so um, I'm just trying to take some of this weekend to kind of just take it easy, not do too much, and um, besides that, i really been wanting to get a haul video out. I've had a hectic last couple weeks, it's been busy, and I know my face is looking a little derpy with not trimming. Um, at this point, I don't care. I'll probably trim tomorrow, but I've just been in a wreck, exhausted, my head's been in a million different spots, but um, I'm doing this for you guys, even though I'm not 100% the most uh, alert with everything, based on all I've had to figure out, so it's going to be a good one as per the picture, of course we're going to start off with everything in the front, and then everything in the back, so let's get on to the video. There we go. All right, so all kinds of good stuff. Like I said, it's per the picture of the video, and some of it is uh, some of Mark's Campbell's stuff uh, that did not get included in the first one. So, without further ado, I've got 15% battery. I want to make the most of that 15%. Let us get rolling because I have probably one take now. All right, because I've already done another. So first off here. We got the Jaguar Mark 1. Pretty cool. So I believe my buddy Matt gifted this to me. Well, I know he gifted me a couple. A few of these are his. So Jaguar, the Mark 1. There's on the back right there if you want to read. There you go. So the next one up here I got... The Collector Zamac Gasser. I am was kind of after a few of these versions. This is the Zamac version. I actively collect 55s. Don't ask me why. I just do. There you go. And up here, the Mustang SVO. Not a new casting. Still cool color. Like that plain red with the black graphics. Was was a fan of this. That was cool. So there's that one. And then up here, got the Matchbox, the Ford Bronco. That one's pretty cool. And, uh, watching a lot of uh, you guys out there finding more stuff. We haven't been as lucky, not as much as popped up. Also, this here I got was obviously the Porsche keychain. It's on my keys now. So after today, we're going to get rid of that card. <laughs> There's the Porsche keychain that I finally got. I like these a lot. Uh, they're kind of cheesy, but I like them. And then up here, this was some of Mark Campbell's uh, stuff. The Hot Wheels Silver Series, the Hot Wagons. This one, the Chevy Nova. These are cool. Some specialized wheels and, you know, kind of almost a semi-premium in a way. Here's all the ones you can get on the back. And I mean, these were the two I kind of dig, actually. I like those two. The ones that I got from his collection. And then up here is the GTO Custom 66. It's a pretty nice casting. Happy to have those. Alright. Next up here, we have the Tracked Wagon. Pretty cool. Excited to get this guy. Here's the bag if you want to read. A lot of the ones I do have are going to be all new castings for the year. And then I finally struck this a while back at Walmart. Not sure the specific when, but got the BMW M3 wagon. I'm pretty behind on a lot of my uh, main lines. I know this is kind of like 
a lot of this is a little outdated, but per such that it's just been getting hard to find stuff around here for some reason. All right, so next up here, I ordered these online. These came the latest out of everything, which was was going to make this haul video Friday, but they got delayed. So got the Willys Gassers, Wild Bill and Cody. Uh, the, yeah, pretty cool. I dig these a lot because they're actually based off of the, of real vehicles. And I really dig these, these cards. Um, okay, yeah, the bubble is a bit bent, sure, but that's age. That's certainly to be expected on these. So, I mean, yeah. But <clears throat> with cards this old, you know, you're not going to. You're not going to expect the perfect card. Even all, some of my Johnny Lightning cards I bought are not all perfect. But the cards are absolutely mint, I can say. So beautiful cards. Wild Bill Cody. Another Hot Rods, as usual. I collect a lot of these. The 37 Coupe. Those are very cool. It's the one oddball kind of out of the bunch. These are gassers, but... These all came as a lot. I paid twenty dollars uh, for them, which wasn't too bad. Got the Willy Fest, and these were bought as part of a whole. Um, so again, I didn't only pay twenty with shipping, so they were amazingly well packed. So pretty cool. This one, the bubble is actually in good shape, and the cards again, they're immaculate cards. I don't know how they stayed this nice for this long. So then you got another Willie's Gassers. This one. These are the Playing Mantis eras of Johnny Lightnings. Which I do. Bryson and Sons. Again, I didn't have these, so... Kind of had to have them. Alright, so that does this lair front row here. Um, Going to move on to all this now. Let's start with cartoon, shall we? So, digging the series, absolutely. We'll be collecting more. Of course, these, I technically buy them just to crack them open. Um, I don't care, personally, if the card was bent, maimed, or whatever. I just would probably crack it. They're just not something I, I really have a desire to keep in the package because they just go so well with the uh, funky Rat Fink style stuff I have, so I just pretty much break these open. Cool looking Lowrider Nomad, actually. And then I'm pretty much catching up on most of this. I've got quite a few of these, actually, now. All I need, really, is, like, this one and this one. I've got this one, this one, this one. Now, well, <laughs> not going to be a spoiler. So I'm catching up on this series. I've only got lead like a couple more. And then here is the 64 Impala. Of course, very well known. Obviously, it's an easy E and NWA song. Cool 64. See, so yeah, I dig this chibi kind of feel that these got, and something just different for the collector who likes that style. Also, here, the 47 Fleet Line. It's nice to see a new kind of game changer in the hobby that's doing something different, especially for those who kind of like the muscle machine style. It's nice to see it's it's nice seeing something different. And again, that's kind of where my head's at. I'm just you know <laughs> been the whole month that's gotten to me really. And then the '69 Chevy Camaro. So yeah, on cartooned, I I'm only needing the. 87 C10, and then the Blazer, the two SUVs. If I find those, I'm instantly going to grab them. That's That mostly completes Series 1, but I still need the rest of Series 1. <laughs> but still, most of the way, catching up there on Cartoon. Alright, so next up here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Big time four-wheeling. But after losing money on eBay... Um, I like it. It's a Hummer, a Humvee, so I think I might consider keeping it or possibly just giving it to my niece when she gets older to kind of get her into some of the higher-end stuff. 
because Jada is cool, but I'm not as big. And man, this is dusty. I didn't realize this was so dusty. Probably just going to give this to Milani, likely. So when she starts turning like seven, maybe, because there's still some stuff that can fall off of this, obviously. So I'm not going to give it to her right yet. So my niece will probably get that. Alright, so next up here, we're going to go in the two here, and then three here, and then we're going to move on to the entire back. So, Winter Circle, Dale Earnhardt. Uh, this was out of Mark Campbell's collection, too. Another thing I did not really have, so I thought this was pretty cool. And I'm keeping this, because I do collect a lot of the yellow and blue era Earnhardt cars. And so then this guy here, I got this when I was hanging out with my friend Melody, who is a new friend of mine. Me and her were uh, going on a peg hunt, and um, I managed to snag this guy. So this one's getting cracked, obviously. I crack all my moving parts. I don't find it in me to leave in the package, so I do crack these open. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. All right, now, this one uh, my buddy Matt gave me, Richard Petty, uh, NASCAR Authentics. So, right now and then he sneaks me a couple, so it's always nice to get them from him. So yeah, there's that one. Uh, and M2 Machines, this is another M2, um, because Target has been carrying them now. Um, I'm all for it, actually. I love the fact that we have Target exclusive M2s, finally. And, um, yeah, M2 has been... I can't state it enough. M2 has been stepping their game up since, like... I don't know, since a while now. Um, I know a YouTuber by the name of Mr. DJK has been buying a lot of freaking... M2s now it seems like because the brand is just really accelerating itself and at first I thought they were just kind of like a wannabe muscle machines <clears throat> no they're certainly getting better so yeah I really thought M2 was kind of just the wannabe muscle machines just rebirthed but M2s really just stood alone as more of its own thing now and I'm all for it honestly but the Edelbrock Belly Tanker, another nice looking piece, the red and black. There we go. And that completes that. Now, some Legos. Um, well, one thing I want to show off here. I do have a pack of Terminator 2 Judgment Day cards. These are also for my buddy Mark. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I'm going to open them or whatever, but that will remain to be seen. And also, I have a ton of cars that are Hot Wheels that I can actually give to my niece, so those are definitely going to go to her. Um, compliments of Uncle Jared. Um, so, and there's this here, this poly bag, which I'm probably going to crank into this today, likely. I want to do this today, probably. But yeah, the poly bag right here. Decided on it because it's got a good review, and I might have to pick more of those up. Okay, so... Move on to some of the big items. I ordered this. My uh, worker gave me a gift card for Amazon, and I wound up ordering the Speed Champion set. I may have gotten something else, but I ordered these guys. Looking forward to putting these together soon. All right, so there is that. Now, let's get rolling here to the next level. I did get this in off-brand Lego. The Hachiroku, the initial D style A86. This is a fun build. Um, I will say, uh, Lego from China is definitely not what it used to be. It has definitely become kind of its own thing. So, I personally dig some of the off brand Legos. Might have to get more of them for sure. And, oh, shoot, well, that kind of like. I'm about to reach over. So, I got a couple more M2s. This one is the Lenati cams. Right here. Mm -mm. 
It's an LSX, the Black Magic Lenati. Pretty cool car. I like the nice different engine option this had, the slicks in the back. This looks like just a full on, all out, outlawed style drag car kind of. Pretty cool. That's why I dug it. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's cool. And hold on, one more second. I gotta get behind the camera. Okay. So what cool more here? I'm almost done. The last uh, 164th. Oh well, that's a one less than a 164th, but last one here is the M2, the 1990s C. 1,500 Silverado. Target exclusive, very nice looking. Like the color combo. It's another one I had to pick up when I saw it. It's a pretty cool piece. I am glad M2 did away with the opening doors finally. Like They were having probably too many quality control issues with that. So, hey, at least if we're getting a better casting, I'm fine if they're doing away with that. All right. Next up here, I ordered this. My uh, friend kind of dings me for getting these models. But I personally like them. And they're pretty nicely detailed for what they are. I like them a lot. The Car Quest. The 124th or 25th scale. 29 Roadster. 29 Roadster, just kind of a unique piece. Usually see the 32 Roadster, but the 29, not really as much. It's pretty cool. Even got the seatbelts in it. I don't know. Not sure if it has carpeted interior, but it's still very nice. And there's that now. Alright. The next up here, Fast and Furious. You got this can't wait to put all this back in my collection and put it where it belongs because if I were to put it there try to make a haul video I'd forget about it but now everything can be in its permanent residence where it needs to go fast and furious the final drag race scene I've been wanting this for a while and I finally bought it the last one I need is Toretto's cafe and I'm pretty much done with the whole nano scene uh, deal last thing here and I'm done. My neighbor gave me this, the Billboard uh, Hot Rod Light Up Wireless Speaker. It's likely if these are stickers on the side, the Billboard ones, I'm going to take those off because I'm going to want this to be clean. I like the speaker portion. i just not a big fan of the Billboard door graphics. I'm probably going to take those off if I can. If I can't, I'm not going to try to, but if they're removable... I'll probably remove them because I want that clean red look. But yeah, got this. This looks very cool. My worker game my worker, sorry, my neighbor gave me this for my birthday. So that was pretty cool. Alrighty guys, well that has everything to do with all of what I've been collecting this entire last couple months. I know you guys got a nice uh haul video before that with all of Mark's stuff, but this is all the stuff I'd kind of been setting aside for you guys. Um, wanted to try to keep it as short as I could. I know I don't usually, but that's all I got to show off. But I will see you guys later. And hopefully a shout out video will be coming soon because we've had some pretty loyal commenters. Um, the one by the name of Rick Sanchez's Flask, who has been with us for a bit so everybody out there who are my loyal commenters um keep commenting i might give you a shout out like uh, mr rick sanchez's flask all right guys well um i will see you guys later all right bye bye